through the window. I didn't think I would escape. I was just frozen, helpless. Nothing you could do. That property is a pretty remote property. Um, it's about it's several, uh, several acres. I can hear his footsteps, and I'm getting closer. The evil in his eyes, I've never seen before. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, Potential guys, and hit that notification bell. And I want to say, have you guys seen Anaya? We're still looking for her. Now, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different, put my face in front of the video more. So, here we go. Okay, guys, so we have this new case. It's another five-year-old. I don't understand what's going on with this kind of stuff, guys. But we need to get the, her face out there, get it out there quick and tried to help the girl. I heard the uh, Amber Alert went out yesterday and um, I just, for some reason, thought she was found. And I try to cram too many stories in, that's my problem. Okay, so the little girl's name is Taylor Rose Williams. She's five years old. She was last seen wearing purple pajamas. What they are saying is she has uh, brown eyes, black hair okay so police are saying that she was last seen sleeping in her bed at 12 midnight this is in jacksonville florida so i want to make sure that i've said what she looks like correctly she's approximately three foot tall she weighs approximately 50 pounds she was wearing a purple pajama set and um, according to what we know right now there's something very strange about the story something just isn't right so I'm about to break down the timeline for you okay so according to Jacksonville community and law enforcement um, they have been desperately searching for Taylor Rose Williams since she was first reported missing Wednesday morning and that's according to news for Jax They've actually set up a timeline for us to go over, and I'm going to do that with you guys now. So according to this article, Wednesday at 7.22 a.m., Navy Petty Officer Brianna Williams calls the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to report her daughter, Taylor Rose Williams, missing. She tells them that she saw her daughter in bed around midnight Wednesday in their home on Ivy Street in Brentwood, in the Brentwood neighborhood of Jacksonville but when she woke up the next morning Taylor was gone and the back uh, door of the home was unlocked so at Wednesday 9 21 a.m. Florida Department law enforcement issues a missing child alert I remember this because I was in the McDonald's drive-thru and the cashier and I, were, we were talking about it. So Wednesday at 10 a.m., volunteers swarmed the area searching for Taylor. They helped spread the word with flyers, searches bushes and abandoned homes. And they also go and scour the woods and the drive through um, the street shouting her name. So Wednesday at 10.30 a.m., Quote, it's very urgent that we find her as quickly as possible, says uh, the Chief of Investigations, T.K. Waters. Quote, we'll work until we can't work anymore, end quote. So around 11.24 a.m., an Amber Alert was issued for Taylor, um, and she was described as three foot tall, weighing 50 pounds, with brown eyes and black hair. She was last seen wearing a purple shirt and pink pajama pants when she went to bed. So Taylor is believed to be in danger. Yeah, the cashier and I, we were going over it. We were trying to figure out where, what was it, Duvon, that they were saying that was the area she was in. We couldn't figure out where that was. And then I did a search on her later. There must be another person with that name because I seen fine and I just dropped it and I shouldn't have done that. So Wednesday, 11.30 a.m., Newsjax confirms that dozens of JSO officers are also searching a Southside Villas apartment complex on the Southside Boulevard where the family uh, of Taylor lived before moving to Brentwood just days before she was reported missing, guys. So Wednesday at 2.30 p.m., Tiffany Nicole tells Newsjax 
that she was hired by Brianna Williams, Taylor's mother, to help Williams move. She said she and her fiancé packed up several items in the Southside apartment on Sunday afternoon during the move to Ivy Road address. And that is uh, where Taylor was reportedly last seen. So the Amber Alert has been in effect for more than 24 hours. Her mother told police that she last saw Taylor at midnight Wednesday. They're repeating that information. So right now, the city of Jacksonville said they have more than 100 officers and firefighters, including search dogs, dive teams, mount, uh, mounted police, drone units and volunteers assisting in the help to try to find this five-year-old the whole community is actually kicking in which is nice i'm glad that uh communities are paying attention and they're helping uh when the we have so many stories like this and people feel that there's just something not right about this story but we will not cover that in this initial um video right now we want to make sure that we make this about her finding her first now i had to do a quick research on her because i'm running out of time guys and uh, my phone's about dead but at least we're going to be able to have something to put out there so if you know something post a link somewhere if you heard an update just let us know but last time i had seen this story there wasn't even this much information so i'm sh sure by tomorrow we should start hearing maybe some a little bit more, hopefully. I don't know what area they're in, but I sure hope that they're thinking like a child and checking out those security cameras in the area. Maybe somebody picked her up. I'm just hoping it's, it's not going to get any worse. So please, guys, share this video. Share her face. Share her story. God, I hope we can find this one. We're still... I mean, we're still okay. So please, uh, let's send blessings out to the family. And let's hope that we can get a miracle this round. We need a happy ending.